any more thought on that? Um, in the past, I've, I've never really had anyone be like, oh, hey, like, let's be official, like, sure, yeah. right in the beginning, you guys are great. Um, I can promise, like, I won't pursue other relationships, go on a few more dates and see yep. how hot that spark is and yeah, go sure. from there. It felt kind of like I needed to give an answer right then and there, and I am not 100% sure, but... You know, <clears throat> imagine that, though. Peer pressure. I mean, listen, the way I look at it, really, intuitively, Ashley and Shane are hella intense, especially Shane. Ashley, no, Ashley isn't as much. She's quite relaxed, but Shane is hella intense, you know? He's expecting answers on the spot. He's expecting everything on the spot. And I, and I get it. I get it. He doesn't, he doesn't want to be messed about. He, he wants to make sure his wife is going to be well looked after, and I completely get it. But at the same time, though, the tactic can be very intimidating, and uh, it can also be a, a, a turnoff. I'm actually surprised that she actually came back, to be honest with you. But hey, listen, right now, she's obviously uh, reacted out of nerves, out of peer pressure. But at the same time, she's willing to give it a go. So that makes a lot of sense. But as she said, though, she's willing to go on a few more dates, obviously, you know. But in the meantime, she won't be seeing anybody else, which is fantastic. Because obviously, that's what they want. They want someone that's going to show a certain level of commitment. And she's willing to do that, which is fantastic. But I really want to focus on the fact that she says that she wants to go... She said that she wants to go on a few more dates, which means that one, she's not actually confirmed that she actually wants to be a part of the family, that she actually wants to be with Ashley. So therefore she's an uncertainty, right? So this is the thing that then bothered me moving. Uh, this is what then bothered me next. Say bye. It was nice to meet you. Say bye. <laughs> Good to see you. Me too. Good to see you. Me too. Mm -hmm. Drive safe. There we go. Oh, okay. See, I am not a fan of the fact that they were okay with bringing their child around a stranger. Because look at this way, right? If it's a woman and she brings a man around, you know, it's going to be a whole conversation about, you know, you shouldn't be doing, you know, you shouldn't be introducing any guy to your kid, bloody da 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 da. So let's keep the same energy here. This woman's coming. You don't know if she's going to be a permanent resident in your life. You don't know if she's, if she, do you know what I mean? So therefore, they should go on these dates first. The dates that she mentioned, they should go on those dates first. And then once they know that, yes, this woman is here to stay, then they can then start to, you know, make the right movements to then introduce her to their child. Now, of course, I understand that they didn't exactly introduce their child to her like that, but they did a little bit. But you know what I mean? Like people have to be careful of who they expose their, their, their children to. And they barely know the woman. I'm not saying that she's dangerous, but I'm just saying that they, they shouldn't normalize bringing in different women, trying to, you know, each woman that they caught to try and bring in, they can't just introduce him to their little child just like that. You see what I'm saying? Because, like I said before, we have to give the same energy we would do to a couple that is two, which they are technically, right? Um, so I don't know. We have to give the same energy that we would give a single mother, give the same energy that we would give what well, I hope would give a single father too. Do you see what I'm saying? Because really and truly, like, it's not, it's not nice. But listen, let me know your thoughts on that one because that one really mm, tickled me a little bit. Because like I said before, in another scenario of someone being a single parent now, it'd be a big conversation. Why are you doing that? Should you be doing that? Okay? So my advice to them is in the future, make sure you, you know this person is committed to you before you do this. Come on, you know? It's not helpful for the child. That's just the grand scheme of it. But listen, let me know what you're thinking in the comment section and we can talk about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, peace.